Let's get tropical. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time the 20 Mod Retro Shop in downtown Fort Erie. Um, happened upon this, I'm not sure I had it on my list of places to go originally, but sometimes you gotta follow your instincts. And this one was well worth following and going into for. Classic cocktail shaker, got a nice collect selection of teak items they have some clothing nicely curated there's a nice old brownie camera I know I have at least one of those and I've got I just picked up another flash component for it here we are you see some of the Hawaiian shirts you'll see more detailed photos of them later on they were just so so lovely to see these is a nice collection there's some tie-dyeing items as well that he has here for example here not that they were necessarily direct, actually tie-dye but they're of that style and some more Hawaiian shirts as we go along. <coughs> if you go and visit this place, there's no assurance that all of these will still be there, but you can get a good sampling of uh, what kind of items he has. Some of the um, shirts are actually long sleeves, not just short sleeves. I don't usually look for the long sleeve versions, but it was a pleasure to see them there. You've got some vintage electronics and uh, wall hangings, artwork, furniture, chairs, tables, buffets, uh, just about everything you can imagine. That you could find for uh, for vintage. These tend to be more on the mid-century modern, including posters and other artwork. They had a lower level that had a, uh, substantially more of the furniture and and uh, decor items. Nicely curated again, I'll say it that way. They had a few of these telephone tables and side tables. That's a telephone table that's quite popular at the time. So there's a poster you'd never see nowadays. A set of these four uh, Chinese red uh, fiberglass chairs was also on display downstairs. 225 I think was the price that they had placed on them. A uh, multi table game which included Crokinole. You can see it has checkers and chess on there as well.
and had all the bits and pieces that go along with it as well. Uh, soft drink bottles, older electronics, if you're looking for the look, they usually work on top of it. He had some um, cast iron burner ring tools and they're also used on some cast iron pots and pans. Quite a collection. There was a lot to see. Then he had the LPs. He may have had some 45s as well. If you're looking for album art, you can definitely find some interesting album art. And there's more of the albums upstairs in a, in a niche near the back of the store. Again, lots to look at. Oh, eight tracks and cassettes. Some vintage rotary phones. This is one that we didn't have very many of in Canada, at least not in the Bell area. That was 45. Or it came along later, so it wasn't something that uh, got it widespread. Here's the overview of the, the Hawaiian shirts. And some other shirts there too, but primarily Hawaiian shirts. There's the coconut board with uh, six other games. Those holders for the uh, cast iron. A light switch too. A light switch cover as well from the looks of it. Oh, brass hardware. Classic analog clock. Officer classroom. Uh, a few of the, these are side tables in this case. Some folks did use them for telephone tables. It allowed you to have your telephone on the upper shelf and the f phone book on the lower part. Those uh, fiberglass chairs. Some soft drink cases. These were for larger bottles so they wouldn't bang into each other. 12 pack, great. Uh, vintage car. I don't know if it would have been a toy. Most likely it was, but... And then the Foresight, which is a brand name of uh, an explosive. During the mid-century, it was heavily used when they were making the tunnels and the uh, generating station, the newer generating station for Niagara. Here we go with a vintage steamer trunk. And they had a set of these atomic chairs and there was a vintage table, with, but they weren't sold together. There's a vintage chair. They were sometimes they had those with a uh, for a te for a telephone with the shelf on the side. And now we're into the Hawaiian shirts. We'll just let these scroll through. <clears throat> so you can see a pretty good idea of what kind of shirts they have. You saw some in the video, but these are, you get a little bit of a better look on, on these. The uh, 
This is a geometrics. As a reproduction, in my opinion, being blue notes. suspect this may well be as well. More of a business attire for Hawaii. Panama. Again, geometrics. 80s Wrangler. Made in Canada, wow. That's a colorful one. The hangers are also very vintage. Here's a Canadian one. Some more somber colors. This is bright with dark. I think I have an orange similar to this, if not the same. Some smaller sizes are also on offer here. There's a vintage hanger, Eaton's. Not sure that Fort Erie ever, ever had an Eaton store. Now there is an orange with palm trees. They also had some of the uh, art that's most often identified to mid-century, although it's continued further than that. Here's some of the tie-dye. You see some of the artwork in the back. How often does somebody come across bowling pins? Probably someplace that's shut down. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this one. It's got lots of Hawaiian shirts. Um, you can give us a subscribe. Maybe a, a thumbs up would be appreciated. And maybe a tinkle on the bell so you're notified of the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.